Hello and welcome back. Uh, second time I'm streaming today. Um, I wanted to like implement something small and then the user asked for um, if we support deleting images and then I looked at the, at the issue and was like hey that is something I definitely could start and then I looked at it again and it looks to me like I could with a bit of focus implement that in one session. All right, so let's go to delete image. Right, so I didn't want to work on the React Native stuff more today because like I have to learn a lot of new concepts and I am not <laughs> that great at learning new stuff when, when I'm a bit tired. Mm. So I'm probably going to work on that more on Friday. Um, yeah, and that should be enough, I, I think. Um, so yeah, deleting images. Right, as a user, I want to delete an image to keep my system tidy, which makes sense, right? Um, also, what's important, the trash can thing is a concept and it is needed. So if you delete something first, it goes into the trash can and if you delete it the second time, it gets de deleted for real, right? And uh, if it's in the trash can, you can also recover it. These are the two concepts. It's different from hiding images. I'm not exactly sure why, but some people just want to archive stuff and um, put these things in their archive, but they still want to like, um, they, they still want to be able to search for them and stuff like that. So yeah, that's a different concept, I think. Um, we already have like a delete endpoint, but we should check if we have then um, a photo that is actually deleted before we before we manually deleted it. And uh, we need a new R um, attribute which is called deleted, right? And that's false or true. And then we need a list view and then we have to implement it in the front end. So not that hard, I think. So I think we can speed run that. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's see. Let's go to models, photo, and then we go here. It is similar to hidden, right? So deleted equals models, boolean, default is false, and we, am go we are going to search over it. Okay, save. And in order to create the migration, we have to restart. CD, LibrePhoto, Docker, sudo, all right. And then it should create the migration file, awesome. So that's the first step. Um, the second step is that we add the deleted thing to the edit view of the photo. That's basically in the serializer. Uh, right, and then photo edit serializer, right. Oh, we only have like a couple of things here. Image hash, hidden, rating, and video. But how does favorite work, right? And I'm in the rabbit hole again. Um, I mean, it's still starting up, so I guess I have some time. And the migration file, okay, it's not yet created. Here we go, he created the photo deleted thing. Nice. So we have the photo edit view set, right? That's what I'm looking for. And that's in views, 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 views. Right, and then we use the photo edit serializer. I got that right. All right, so, we, okay, yeah, right, it's called hidden rating. And I think for public, we then have something different, right? 
Okay, so that was created, so we're going to add deleted. So that's important. Save. Um, all right, so now we can uh, update the photo if it's like deleted or not. So we now can select for it. Um, the next thing we have to implement is that we create basically a new thing where we select for um, only deleted images, right? So deleted. So hidden faults, right? The only thing we care for, I guess, is deleted. And that is true. I think that's also all we we are going to select. The rest isn't that interesting to us. Um, right, very cool. And I think we have to implement that a second time. Right. Okay, so he, he does also, <laughs> he also filters like for a person. That is not needed. Right. Album date list view. Here we go. Yep. Q QS equals and then That is basically all we need, and then we put that to true. And I need a bracket. Save. Very cool. All right. So now we should be able to fetch it. We can edit it. Um, I guess the next thing would be to mm, delete it. Present photos. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Right. So that works. Don't I don't think I have to think about that again. Uh, we can edit that. We actually have it as a attribute. We now only have to figure out manual deletion. A manual delete, here we go. So we get a bunch of image hashes. Um, if photo owner equals request user. And, and, and photo deleted. Right? So only if it's truthy, we're going to do that. All right. So the backend part is now implemented, which was very fast in under 10 minutes. So now we're going to implement the view. So the view looks uh, similar to other views, right? So we're going to have a layouts. Where is it? Layout, right? Photos. And we're just going to copy paste, I guess. Favorite images. Mm, I don't know. Favorite images is, I think, more closely tied to it. Deleted photos.tsx. And we're going to rename that to deleted photos, right? We select photos flat, photos group by date, users have details, it's not needed. Um, right, we have to add a new photo set type. And that is deleted equals 
delete it. Right. Very cool. We, we're putting that in here. Awesome. We also check for that. Then we load the visible groups. Um, title is obviously photos are deleted. Deleted. Title icon name is a uh, trash can, I guess. Title icon name. Yeah, so let's look up semantic UI, what we have. Semantic UI. I can. Trash, okay. That's also great. Uh, it is a date view because why not? It is selectable, right? That is also still all valid. Right, so now that part is also implemented. Let's go to the definition. Let's do another param, I guess. Like that. And that is deleted param. So if photo set type dot deleted. Right. Options dot photo set type is deleted, then we do that, right? And then we add that to that. Very cool. And then down here, no, probably up here, right? Okay. We will do the same for that. And save. Awesome. Okay, very cool. So now we also have implemented the query technically. Um, right, now we only have to add this to the, our app, right? So let's see. Favorites, right, okay. Let's do it similar to that. Okay. So if we now go to localhost, and then we go to slash deleted, we now should get permanently loading thing. But why? But at least we don't get a 4-4 error, right? So that's great. Okay, let's do a reload. Deleted true. It's a 401. Okay, yeah. Token something something. And uh, load a user. <clears throat> Here we go. So we have an unbound local error. 
Unbound Local Error. Interesting. So, local variable, variable username reference before assignment. Right, okay. So let's fix that. Um, albums. Four forty. Here we go. All right. I still have to query username. Save. Okay. Let's do a reload. No images found. Perfect. So that kind of works. So now we have to add a new action where we actually can delete um, an image, right? So let's go to photo actions, favorite, right? Here we go. Let's implement that. Did I get a message? Yes and no. Group message. <laughs> it's always noisy. Like Discord really solved that really well. I feel like I can way better control if I get like a good or a bad uh, message on Discord because like it's generally understood as a public forum versus like a group dele deleted i think i'm set photos deleted dele oh here we go man i cannot write any longer okay so I probably should also like bundle that to one function later, not today, but like at some point. Okay, so hidden works the same. All right. So let's call it photos edit deleted. <coughs> and then we get response data. And we say set photos deleted fulfilled. Right, and then we do a deleted, deleted, recover photo. Feed photo. Set delete title. Right. Okay. Save. <coughs> so that should technically now also work. Right. We we still have like a lot of stuff like set photos favorite and and, and so on that I have to work on. Right, so let's go to the reducer. <clears throat> okay, so reducer photos. 
favorite I don't know. Seems kind of long, to be honest. I will just keep it. I will just do it like that, I guess. Uh, deleted, fulfilled. I think I have to import that. Oh no. Right. And we currently don't do anything if something <laughs> gets rejected. Okay. So now we also do something with that, which is nice. Um, that looks still very long. Because basically we only set favorite thingy on there. Anyway. So... Now we should have like our photos action TS thing. And now we're going to implement it like the favorite button. Go to definition, uh, toolbar, selection actions. Right. Why the toolbar? Ah, okay. So that's the toolbar of the uh, light box, right. So let's go to selection actions. Let's go to selection actions. Awesome. Right. So let's select two of them. Then we have hide, okay. Then we have public, okay. Then we have download, which is also okay. <coughs> and then we have share, right? And then I would just put this here. And I can put a divider between that. Save. So the first thing is that we have to put trash can, ah, just trash, right. I don't think I need anything else. I can start outline, so don't know. Let's see. Let's go to with timestamp, right? And let's see how it looks. So I have selection actions deleted and then recover. So um, basically, we only need recover in the actual trash can view. So we can just add the delete thing there and we don't need the other button. Right, so I don't need that. All right, we, we, we could add recover. Recover, restore, hmm. Undo. Yes, here we go. So I will just call that undo. 
undo right don't need that any longer Okay, so technically this should now work with a couple of smaller setbacks because we have now deleted and recovered here, but it looks basically legit. So what do we want to delete? Um, I think I'm going to delete this one. Let's click on delete. And then I get a 405. Method post not allowed. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Let's go to photos action. We have like post there. We have a post here. So that's not that bad. Okay, let's go to photos, edit, hide. Let's see if I have to add this to the URLs or something like that. Um, on photos, URLs, here we go. Wait, what? Why do I have a different view for that? weird um, set photos view oh no I have to change the whole API uh, views and then views right it's like a complete function Okay, weird. So do I actually use photos added somewhere? Okay, so URLs. And then I have, I have delete and then I have same thing, I guess. But that's called set deleted. Very important difference. <laughs> okay, set deleted photos deleted right so do I actually use photo edit photo edit I guess not weird Anyway, okay, cool. So that should work. Let's go back to delete photos. Right, serializer, photo edit, 
Um, I think I will put a comment over that to do. Are you even used? Save. Yeah, all right. Remove that photos action. Tab component, header component. Um, okay, I think I lost it. Here we go. Set photos deleted, go to definition. And then set deleted. Right? Uh, let's close all. I need that one and I need URLs. Set deleted, yes, should work. So let's try this again, reload. Uh, let's go down here. Okay, so deleted. Yeah, all right, toast delete photo, awesome. So if I now go to deleted, no images found. What the freaking hell? Okay, so let's go up here. No, okay, I want to still delete this. Yes. I kind of have the feeling that nothing gets posted <laughs> what <laughs> no uh, selection actions right true or false save All right, let's copy that in again. Okay. Set deleted 200. Payload, true, and I got this back. So technically, if I go not to delete it, I should see something, but I don't. Why? Count zero? Okay. So, let's check this out. Let's go to albums. Delete it, right? And then we have the, the username here. Oh my god. Save. But on the other one, I got that right. Okay. I did something right. Okay, so. Refresh. Are you kidding me?
<laughs> okay, I will do that instead. I think that should work better. Save. Okay. Reload. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, hell yeah. I even have three images that are deleted. So it worked every time, I guess. Okay. So let's recover. And it's recovered, and if I do now F5, that works. Recover. And now it's empty. Yes. Amazing. Technology. Um, all right. So now we have like the basic things in place um, sidebar side menu narrow so let's add a new thing I guess I honestly don't want a Dropbox, right? I don't only want like a button. So all I do is I think I'm going to add just a button. Yeah, it's going to work. Button. Hey, it's a button. Awesome. Hidden, drop down, left, item icon. Okay. And then I put an icon here. And the icon is size big name user. Yes. Very cool. So that looks janky. <laughs> All right, so let's um, item. What does this mean? Okay. Menu, semantic, UI. Yeah, I want something like that. How does it work? Class item. So let's just do it an item, I guess. Oh no, I broke it. Item is not defined. Okay, let's go up here and import item. Awesome. Reload. 
Here we go. And it does not behave as the other things, so that's weird. Okay, menu item name active on click. Menu dot item. All right, not an item but a menu dot item. So many new things I'm going to learn. Menu dot item. I mean, duh. I still can't click on it, but I think I can fix that. So, menu item, but with an icon. Here we go, browse, that looks good. I want that. Browse, 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 active equals active item. And then, he just has an icon and a menu item. Hmm. Name messages, all right. Huh. Okay, let's add this. Active item is not defined. Oh, okay. So that is also not needed, uh, but I will give it a name like trash. All right, look at that. That, that looks more like it. So then I will add the diff again, All right? So let's do that here. Reload and now it is small again. Awesome. And I think I don't need that any longer. Reload. Oh my god. Now I only need an on click on click function. Let's see if this works. Reload. It works just with a click. Oh, amazing.
Okay, so I kind of feel like the layout is a bit messed up. Because I put just random dividers into it, okay. And now it looks basically the same. The drop down menus still look weird. And it's obviously not called sharing, it's called photos.delete. Okay. So now we can navigate to it. We can technically recover something and we can technically delete something. That is all fine. That's all very good. So I will now mark you as deleted. Right, and then I have this. So <coughs> obviously the selection toolbar is going to be limited. So I mean, my guess was pretty good. I'm already, I'm only like, um, 45 minutes into it. And basically, man, it works, it works. So, Alright, I don't need that. I need the selection actions thing. So we have our recover action, right? And um, I only need that if we are actually in recover. So route, do I have a route somewhere? Yes. So, this is deleted, but I want to hide recover. So, or something called like that, right? And then I have to do this and then a bracket right Oh man, I always forget how I write these conditional things. Uh, oh no, stop, please. Um, I definitely have this here. And then, and, and, and drop down, right? So. Okay, so I will just pull stiff that into a diff, I guess. That always works, TM. Oh, come on, please stop with the auto completion, man. So, let's see. If we're in here, then we see, we don't see recover. Okay, that is broken. 
Yeah, we don't see that. And if we in delete it, we also don't see that. Why? Okay, now it's missing. And now what is happening? Really? Like that's where, where I'm going to struggle? Download sharing. Yes. So there it isn't there. Uh, but if I click here, I have this empty thing. So that's weird. That's just straight up weird. Okay, so the first issue is that I went up too far. Right, so reload. So now I still have selections, selection actions deleted. And if I go to delete it, then, okay, then it really disappears. That's weird. Okay, so that's the, the right way to do it. And I still have the drop down divider. It still looks weird, I don't know why. So if, I, if I'm here, then it looks like this. Here, now that here it looks fine. And I think the issue is that it's in a div, I guess. Okay, so now it only shows up like this. And if I go here, it shows up as this. All right, so that looks like I wanted to look. Um, yeah, so all I actually want is in this view to see deleted, right? And I don't want to see all the other actions. Selection bar. All right, so that is more effort than I thought it would be. <laughs> Always forgetting the small stuff. Okay, so So if this is not deleted right then
here we go we only have recover and now we have like a lot of different actions we can do for example we can do all these things and sharing and set album cover and stuff like that and for example set album actions doesn't make any sense if you're not actually within an album right so that's weird but I currently really don't have a good solution for that amazing that is weird Yeah, so that is definitely like an issue. We You can still make them public and stuff like that. So it's definitely not something I'm going to finish today. No, I started something and I didn't finish it. Uh, that ha happens basically all the time, but still. So deleted elements are only shown in the archive trash can view and nowhere else. Yes, so that's also a thing we have to implement. Uh, this API endpoint should check if the photo actually has an attribute, right? So that's something we can now implement. I think the easiest way to do it is just to have like a different selection thing. It's a different selection bar, right? Um, so let's go to selection actions. Recover. Recover. So selection bar. Okay, I don't have selection bar and I don't have selection actions. So I think the general idea was to just rip that out, remove that. So that is still simple, but now we go to photo list view and go for selection actions, right? Here we go, and now we see these things. And now I'm going to do it differently. So Oh, all right, I wanted to do that. Okay, so don't do that if we do that. Right. Okay, it crashed. So what's the issue? Ok, 
Come on, could you <laughs> please give me at least like an arrow? Can't drop down is not defined. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Don't think that I actually need a drop down. I just need a button group. Well, uh, I just want, I should do one thing after another, right? So let's rip that out for now and let's see how it actually looks. So that's now how it looks, all right. We can still select stuff, but we don't see it um, because we need actually the selection bar. So that's interesting. So this is still something that's in here. Save. Okay. Right. So that looks more like it. And then we have the recover action and the final delete action. Right, and we will do this with the same thing we did the plus button group. Button group to Okay. I will just implement that as a button. Okay. All right. One arrow in two minutes. Damn, I failed. And it crashed. Button is not defined. All right. Okay, so trash can actions. I th I think we should like at least try to be to code a bit cleaner, right? So so that is. Fresh can actions and um, diff. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, selection actions, photo list view. All right. Um, where is it? Here we go. Safe. So now we have the trash can actions, which is nice. Now we go to photo list view. All right, and then I just do trash can actions.
I don't need these, I think. This is also not needed. Album ID is also not needed. All right, safe. Selection actions is not defined. All right, here we go. Now we have a cool little button. And uh, now click here. I can now recover images. All right, so I only basically need the recover button. And uh, yeah, very cool. So then I have to do like a float right. Float equals right. Okay. Okay, I, <laughs> I still have to add like something. Oh, that's such a weird bug. Okay, select. Very cool. So, right, so that's still here and you want it on the other side. So let's see how we implemented that here. Floated, right, okay. Yeah, here we go. Very cool. Okay, so I now only need like a second button where we have like something with a final delete. Um, I don't need a false for that. So let's copy that. Okay, Ooh. let's go back to that. Awesome. Put that here. We don't need that. Um, final photos delete. And that's a trash can. color equals red. Okay, so final photos deleted. And I will call it that. Okay, and that is URLs RP photos delete. Okay, where where are where is it? No, I don't need that. All right. 
right here we go. Okay, I don't need that, I guess. Okay, rejected. Here we go. Okay, so reload. So now we have a trash can and we have a recover. So now let's finally delete that. And I got a shit ton of issues. <laughs> okay, uh, all right, so let's go to trash connections. I think all I have to do is to final yeah import that method not allowed oh god oh god it's happening again oh no I don't even remember how I fixed that last time. Unauthorized allow upload, yada yada yada. Method not allowed, API photos added, little delete. So I think I probably then called the wrong thing, right? It's probably a delete, not a post. Right, um, let's see. Okay, views, delete photos, here we go, so. So in data, we definitely get like an image ha image hashes. So, so that should be still true. But he is complaining about Axios request config. All right, I have to do it like that, I guess. Weird. I don't need that because we already set, set that. Okay, very cool, safe. Okay, let's see if this works. So where are you located in upload one screenshots? Okay. Adios amigo. OK, 
Okay, now just nothing happened. That is nice. Delete. So we got an OK for that. Uh, so if I now reload, it is missing. That is a very good sign. Now we go to home, data. Uh, not data, like pictures, uploads, one. And it is missing, indeed. Okay, so that's working, awesome. So the biggest issue I currently have with that is that the dispatch somehow didn't send. Right, so um, that's weird. Okay, um, photos deleted, right, not delete. So let's add a couple of keys, I guess. Right, here we go. Locals, English, translation, photos. All right, uh, let's see, F5, trash can, here we go. So let's see, what else do we have? So selection actions deleted, selection actions. And then we have deleted, right, and we don't, yeah, we could call this delete, but put into trash can. Cool. How does it look if I call it delete? Does it then look better? No. But they are still like a random divider. Selection actions. No. All right. That's it. That explains that. All right. So that looks nice, right? Um, very cool. So if I now click here and click on delete post set delete title that's the next thing i do right so toasts translations oh 
Okay, a lot of stuff. Let's just put this here. Delete photo. I guess. Okay, I don't need that. Or that. Or even that. That is also not needed. Nope. Okay, cool. Yes, 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 I know. Photo actions. Delete photo. Recover photo. Okay, cool. So now we also have that. Photo action. Right, delete, recover. Then we have set delete title. Right, photo actions. Then we have final delete photo. Very cool. Photo actions. Here we go. All right, so now we also have the translation keys added. So if I now click here and I click there, delete image, photos were deleted. Right, and then it is here. And then I can recover it. Awesome, and if I then go here, do I have another th spam image? No, alrighty, then you'll get deleted now. Uh, what the hell is happening? Why does he show? Oh no, we have a programming error. He shows then the whole thing. Right, so I guess if I would click here on recover, it wouldn't even change anything. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Albums deleted. All right, I, I think I need a short break and then I will look into it again. See you in a second.
All right, I'm back. Um, I think this is just a <laughs> caching issue. No, it's not. Fuck. So if I now go to deleted true. Here we go here. Here, here we load all the items. And there are a lot of them in there, god damn it. Uh, that's not good. I think I know what I did wrong. So the issue is in here, album date view set. And now I have to also do something in prefetch, I guess. Well, but, but this here isn't happening if I do it for public things, right? So, for example, okay, let's go back here with timestamp. And let's put this public, right? And then, oh God, here's a typo. Public photos, we only have one image. So why isn't this happening here, but it is happening in the other thing? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, here we go. So we have to do two queries, I guess. So trash can. Oh no, what happened here? Preview. Unbound local error, username reference buffer. Not again. So we have here username that we obviously don't use there. Okay. Okay, safe. Awesome. And now it's only one. Oh, uh, all right. So we fixed that. Um, it should be objects because, um, Obviously, we also want to see deleted hidden images, right? Because that's like a hard criterion. So I want to switch up these buttons. Um, All right, that worked great. So I also need a pop-up, right? Um, where did I had a pop-up? I think when we renamed like persons. 
I think so. And I was in, oh god, I'm getting tired. In albums, album people, model. Yes, here we go. Basically something like this. Oh, confirm. There is even a thing for that. Amazing. So let's go to trash connections. Let's add this confirm here. Confirm not found. Delete person not found. Okay, so let's add a state. Nope, that's all I need. And what I have to do here is set state. Yes. Okay, so technically this should work. I click here. What? He just executed the delete with, without asking me. What the heck? And like the toasty thingy so was also missing. Okay, <laughs> the next one. Alright, uh, trash can. So I have saved this, right? So do I have to do anything else? It just deletes it. <laughs> what? No, you should not do that. What the heck? And the rest I'm just going to pick for now. Save. <laughs> I don't want to lead my whole library to be honest. So let's delete the next one. How? I I mean, deleting works, so that's good, I guess. Okay, so let's close this up and let's do this. I swear to God, if you deleted that again. Bruh, what even is happening? The eating images works really well. 
Okay. It just keeps going. Like, what the heck? Doesn't it rebuild stuff? I don't get it. Oh, for fuck's sake. This happens if you call everything too similar to each other. Reload and it's gone. Man, testing really kills my library. Not download, come on. Please don't, thanks. Uh, select. Delete. Are you sure? Okay. And then it doesn't disappear. Lol. Uh, this dot state. Okay, now we also have a confirmation dialog. That's good. Because I don't have a lot of images any longer. Delete. Okay, so we technically now have a lot of things. Um, you can delete something, you, it's just marked. We have a trash can view. Um, you can't ferret, share, hide a deleted element. I only shown the archive trash can view and nowhere else. So that's also a thing we can now implement. So what we're going to do in order to implement that is that's pretty easy, I guess. Just go to visible. Right, I just want to go here. Visible photo manager. Okay. So if I now go to albums, delete a true visible. visible and down here we also have I think a visibility right because we just use the same thing again okay very cool so that should have an effect on a lot of queries probably not all of them I'm not going to lie there are probably a couple of them missing but it should be good enough for today. I would just push that probably and then people can complain. <laughs> and it's only get pushed on dev, so. And it, that, that whole code definitely doesn't delete anything, so that's good. So I now click on delete. Now click on recover. And now click on delete. Right, and now I do this. Hey, edit this, not lo no longer there. 
and I'll click uh, on this and click delete it is also not there so we have the issue that we now have these weird wide areas and the reason is because he thinks there are um, albums but we just delete them after we got them in there so in order to fix that we have to album date view set album date list view right deleted All right, so now he should not even give us them. No, they, they are still posted. So we have six things. Number of items one, number of items one. So anything 2021 related we don't have and he still thinks we have it. That's not great. For anonymous users, favorite, public, deleted and person. All right, let's see if he's still... No, now it's gone. Okay, very nice. And um, these things obviously should like propagate through all the stuff uh, bit by bit, but um, these are a lot like a lot of areas in the code. And this will probably be not like... Why is it missing? Oh, because now he can't find anything for <laughs> deleted. No, right. <sighs> but I have added that everywhere except here. Deleted, deleted, and deleted. And these are probably all the other queries, right? So, I, all right. Hmm.
very cool and then I will just do a return QS Okay, now this works, this also works, very nice. Okay, so I debugged a lot of stuff today, added in a lot of new stuff. I hope you like it, <sighs> but I'm now very tired because <laughs> this didn't take like an hour, but like an hour and a half. Damn. That's the classic thing about estimations you always 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 get them wrong all right so let's push this stuff cd libre photos git at all git commit um, add new delete AP. Yeah, that, that's a bit much to be honest. Uh, I don't want to save it. Mm, no. Okay, so I will go through them one by one and stage changes. And like in photo, that's probably also the only change. Visible manager and that, okay. Stage changes. Git commit. Add new field. Delete it. Also, don't show deleted images. All right, then we have albums. Stage changes, git commit, add new endpoint to query deleted images, serializer. Git commit to do to unused serializer. Right. Okay, so views. Stage changes. Git commit um, add new. Um, deletion state modifying photos deleted you so only allow deletion of images marked as such yeah all right and then urls stage changes git commit uh, expose new api endpoint all right Very cool. Okay, so cd dot dot cd Libre photos front end. Okay, so the first thing would be album actions, I guess. Stage changes git commit um, mm, 
new endpoint to action. Right, and then I add the deleted photos. Git commit add new view for images. Okay, um, then I have this here. To new view. New view to sidebar. Add new trash can action bar. list view action bar to photo list view get photos API to selection actions okay and then I have here um, git commit uh, add new reducer for deletion of images Git commit add new translation keys. All right, very cool. So, um, maybe there will be like a request to make it um, optional. That could be like one thing people want. Um, I, mean, I mean like it's similar to love uploading images and stuff. So yeah, let's, let's see, let's see. Okay, so let's push that. And let's push the other thing. Right, and <laughs> streamed today twice that's still crazy um, yeah anyway if you like my videos and if you like the work I do um, subscribe to my youtube channel uh, like this video um, you can also sponsor me on github sponsors and um, if you found a bug leave a comment all right see you next